and I will, so now I'm going to let the flow go again because I need to fill this uh, jump. turn the handle of the stopcock, the flow happens along the arms of the stopcock. So it'll flow here and here, but cannot flow up here, right? There's no place to go, right? So now, if I fall a little bit on, it should, it should fill. À, đang bịt cái lỗ kìa Cái lỗ ở chỗ cái đầu ấy, chỗ khôi, khôi cái xanh xanh ở dưới đấy, đấy, đấy. If you put your arms on a 45 degree angle, it stops everywhere. Let's stop that for sure. And now, now I have my priming syringe, and I'll show you what we will do with that. And then I have my flow from the source through the infusion pump to my my patient, which is my IDA file. So, so IDA five, I'm going to connect to channel one. And I'm going to try and keep it out of the way so you can see the screen. But normally I like to switch it kind of over here. Just because I have four channels that I could use. All right, so... Okay. All right, so now I am on flow test. Notice the red bar. The red bar is my priming bar, okay? Notice that my prime is highlighted blue. So I should be ready to prime the IDA5. So prime means we fill dead space that is that will need we need the fluid to be already filled mm -hmm. because we have a graduated uh, an electronic graduated uh, um, burette inside the IDA5. We have to fill to make sure the fluid is at the zero of that uh, burette. That's called dead space. We have to fill the dead space. That's what we do when we're priming. Okay. So I need volunteer. I need a volunteer. Who will volunteer? Always volunteer. Thank you so much. I just need you to gently push. 
slowly push the syringe until this whole bar is blue. Tức là ấn thì nó cần phải ấn bao giờ cái thanh để thành xanh thì thôi. Đấy, Good. Bơm nó okay. thành xanh rồi. Now notice that okay. we move Đừng from prime to auto start. Okay, here's what auto start means. Uh, first of all, no, press the button, auto start. enter. Okay, so now auto start means we're going to let IDA5 start its measurement as soon as the pump starts pushing the very first drop of uh, fluid through so we get all of the volume tức là ấn auto start này tức là nó cái đặt cái thiết bị uh, đo này ở trạng thái sẵn sàng để bất cứ khi nào mà cái này nó bắt đầu chảy vọt đầu tiên qua là nó đã bắt đầu đo rồi thì là nó sẽ đo được toàn bộ cái chuyển tích nó tự động nó phát hiện so now it's time to set up the infusion pump bây giờ sẽ cài đặt cái cái khung bơm bơ, cái bơm bơ tĩnh So when I when I open the door here I notice the pumping technology here the pumping design is a peristaltic. So what it does is it massages the fluid through the tube. That's how it works. So it's like a massage. Ông bảo là khi ông mở ra nhìn thấy cơ cấu này thì mình có thể hiểu là cái cách sử dụng à, cái cách cái công nghệ của cái bơm truyền dịch này tức là nó điều khiển cái lưu lượng qua cái nó nó móc cái 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 ống này để nó như kiểu massage để nó thay để nó cái lưu lượng này. So I'm going to move this behind and then the tubing just goes into the groove. Okay, want to make sure that it's in there good. And then down across the pumping mechanism and then there is a uh, through the groove. Because when I close the door, it will pinch off the tubing. Khi đóng lại thì cái này nó tự động, cái cửa nó tự động nó lại. This the door latch will cause this to pinch off. So um, the, 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 okay. All right. Now uh, I want to use. The, the setting values depend on what the manufacturer of the infusion pump says their test setting should be. Tức là cũng như là các máy khác là nghĩa là mình thử thì mình phải thử ở cái lưu lượng mà nhà sản xuất người ta cali, tức là người ta người ta định cả cái người ta cali cái này bao nhiêu thì mình cũng kiểm tra lại theo những cái mà người ta khuyến cáo được. And it may be different for each brand and model of infusion so what we what we will use because we don't have the specification for this pump we will use uh, a uh, 250 milliliters per hour and a 25 milliliter volume to be delivered okay uh -huh. À, bởi vì mình không có những kỹ thuật cái này nên là khi bây giờ bây giờ thử thì sẽ thử cái 25 ml trên giờ và thể tích truyền cũng là 25 ml. Ok. So you should be able to, to see 25 ml or what is the volume? 25 uh, ml. Right. 25 ml. 25 ml. That's the volume. And yes, it's a small volume. But we want to do this many times today. So we may be exchanging our drain. Okay, so please set up on the pump flow rate 250 mL per hour. And the uh, of the Right, and uh, 25 milliliter ball. Please set up on the pump. Tức là chị được cài đặt cái thể tích Cái, cái lưu lượng là 250 và thể tích là 25 Giảm xuống họ, giảm xuống họ Cái nút lên xuống bên dưới Bên dưới này Chị thấy cái cái con này thì là giảm nhé Nó có giảm đến hàng chục hàng trăm Giảm đến hàng chục hàng trăm Giảm đến hàng chục hàng trăm Thể tích là giảm của 25 Thể tích là thể tích giảm xuống 25 rồi, không, 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 không,
So this one should be, this is the volume, this is the flow rate, we want uh, 250, 250. <coughs> Uh, one, two, five, zero. Tốc độ là Okay. Now we should be ready, right? And the pump will be ready when I give it, when I release here and press start. So before I do that, I want to change my stop pop, right? Because right now it's the syringe, priming syringe in. So we need to be off to the priming syringe and on through from the pump, right? So, so I pay it, no, no, not there. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah, no, no, no. So turn the control so that there is, so it blocks this but allows flow of this one. Mm -hmm. So you have the arms, two sets of arms have to be across and a line in. Okay, okay. Go the other way. This is your flow here and here. 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 This is your flow here Please everybody look, please everybody look and see how the arms are. Okay. Okay. So, our, our IP file is in the ready and the uh, infusion pump is ready. So now if we start the pump, IE5 will begin to measure. Yeah, khi bây giờ mình bắt đầu phải bơm truyền dịch của cái thì cái kia cũng đồng thời đồng đo luôn. Nên là đồng thời okay, nhận luôn. So start the pump. Start it. Ừ. Start cái này. Bắt đầu có lưu lượng này, thể tích này. Here we go, so you're making the measurement. Now, you can also look at the graph besides the numbers. Mm -hmm. So, the graph, we just press enter. This graph is already highlighted. And notice that your numerics measurements are here. And the graphic you can see, so you can see both. Okay. Now this will take a little time, but that's okay. And so what what you'll notice is that the IDA five is measuring. It's, I'm sorry, it's measuring volume. It's calculating. Uh, it therefore is taking the mathematical derivative of volume to turn it into flow. Because volume is the area underneath the flow curve. So we take the derivative of volume to get to flow. And that's what we're doing inside IDA5. And it's also measuring back pressure. Because if, if, if ID5 is our patient, really the way it connects to the patient is with a short catheter that goes either into a blood vessel here, uh, can go into a blood vessel here, it can go into, it can go into uh, a, a blood vessel here. Okay. But mostly these days in the U.S. I see the hand used more than anything else, the top of the hand if possible. Because as the patient moves around, it's, it will be un, less likely for them to to change the position and occlude 
the, the flow. Um, so that will work really well. If they do it here, if they tighten their arm, then they block the flow. 